my clothes. The brownish seven's left in it. Okay. Look nice. Looked like it was gonna kill me. Little house plant. This is the hidey hole. Another hidey hole. Ooh, we're gonna have a lot of hidey holes. Check, right? The soup is ready. I might have finally got the solution to our little weed problem in the greenhouse. The exterminator told me that we got to it early. Should we? have let it grow some more. It could have become very nasty. Luckily, he provided me with a sweet killer recipe. 40 milliliters white vinegar, 30 milliliters of plain alcohol, a spoon of salt. If you can provide the re re reagents, I will make sure the greenhouse will be completely weed-free by tomorrow, sir. Baron. P.S. Do not mix the weed killer with any form of compost. The exterminator explicitly warned me of this. Okay. No, you can't. Salt. Okay. Should I 
ready to sit down to eat soup. Looks like I feel like it should kill me. Who, who's really, sir? Why, why would we do this, sir? And then nothing happened. They were setting you, setting this up, but I called it. I called it. It's definitely around here. Okay. Food on the table keeps getting cold. The family doesn't come together for lunch or dinner. I have asked for the family to have lunch and dinner at the right times and kept everything ready on the dinner table, but more often than not, I end up eating alone. Once I managed to get the kids at the table out of time for lunch, but Mrs. Smith requested to have her food served in her room, and Mr. Smith locked himself in his office on the pretense of work. As I neared his office, the smell of tobacco permeated the air. He had recently lapsed into smoking. Mr. Smith had also taken possession of the key to the basement door that leads to the backyard. Often it so happens that I go to check on the basement door to make sure that it is locked, only to find it ajar and Mr. Smith gone for a late night patrol. This worries me, since I'm not entirely sure if Mrs. Smith knows about his nocturnal excursions. Mm. Well, thanks for the food and the salt. It's gonna make a weed killer, I guess. Resident Evil style. Oh. Read first, sir. I saw the funniest thing, speaking of Resident Evil, it's like this, it's like this little thing, like these people made like the realistic, like, clips of a live action of Leon and, and like the original Resident Evil came and how they move and all that stuff. It was really good and like, like really on point. If you understand me, you understand me. If you don't, I can't help you because I don't have the time. I don't understand myself. Monsters with legs! Knives! The knives bug me more than the legs, I'll admit. Basketball league. We start looking at the stars. Oh, shit. I found it. I found a battery. Dear. 
pulled up already. Oh, cassette player. That'd be nice. Leather looks old. But it's messy. So we can now, I guess, listen to our tapes. Well, Carlos, would you like to tell me why you're here? How can I help? Well, I'm Carlos. I moved to England for work about a month ago to support my wife and son back in Mexico. There are not many jobs back there, you know, so I decided to come here to look for some opportunities. Before coming here, I decided to take the family to visit some local historical sites. We went to one that we had never heard of before. Well, that's very good, and I hope your family is doing well now that you have a steady job. However, I still don't understand why you need psychiatric help. I received your file a few days ago and found your case quite uh, interesting. I feel changed ever since that visit. I felt it for the first time about a week after our trip. During our visit, I came across a strange red dial sign. And it looked like some ancient place for rituals. So Suddenly, I noticed that my nose was bleeding and blood dripped onto the altar. When I touched my nose, it came away dark and sticky. Ever since that day, I've been hearing voices of people wailing, asking for help. The voice of one woman stands out above the others. She keeps on saying, find me a new home. I tried everything to keep the voices out of my head, when I've started losing sleep. But those voices are creeping into my dreams, giving me nightmares. I saw a woman in my dream last night. She was clothed in black and had white obsidian eyes. Then from behind her appeared a little boy in a rabbit mask. He walked towards me and held my hand. Then the woman said, Take him to his new playground. It is time he befriends the one that believes. She will help him create a bridge for us to enter our new home. Is that it? Okay. He was down there smoking while I'm, while I'm listening to that. I feel different today. Strange how time passes so quickly. You get to know good people and before you know it, you are parting ways over unforeseen circumstances. Alas, such is life, Mr. Rodriguez. Alright, so I've been looking into the incident you related. I recall you saying that you were visiting a hidden room that resembled a shrine or altar for arcane rituals and... Your, your nose? Oh no, 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 no. There is blood. Yeah, it's coming out of your nose. No, 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 no. It's happening. It's happening again. This can't be happening again. Oh, oh no. It's again. They are here. I can feel them. Dios mío. I've got to get out. Wait, come back. We're not done yet. Carlos!
go. Thanks for that. Weird looking shape of this animal. Can I? was up with the original <laughs> Resident Evil game and their and their voice acting. It, it, it. I'm an ancient And Carla joined the Smith family just a couple of years ago. At first, she was neighbors to Mrs. Smith's mother. She went very profoundly after Mrs. Smith's mother fell off the stairs in her old age and damaged her backbone, which was also causing infection in her body. Carla was asked to look after the mother by the Smiths, and in return, a reasonable amount of money was paid to her family monthly. The Smiths later decided to move the mother in the, to their house for better care. Carla moved along, and it wasn't too long after the mother passed away due to infection that spread across her body. Carla decided to look after the kids, and she was now earning very well. Apart from looking after the kids, she liked to spend most of the time inside her own room and hardly went out of the house. Okay. So we're just gonna go in blind. 
please. S.A. So hungry. Okay, it's holding out the flashlight and I don't have any. Oh dear. Okay, there's a body. Backyard when I saw Daddy go out for a walk, I decided to follow him into the woods to surprise him. I followed him through the britches, birches until we reached the graveyard. It was getting dark. It was getting dark and I felt scared, so I started to turn back to home. Then I stopped. Daddy was stooped over a grave. I realized he was digging it up. A chill ran down my spine as I saw him take something from the grave. It looked like an arm. He brought it up to his mouth and started tearing into it. I was petrified. In my panic, I stepped on a branch. He heard me. When he turned his bloody face toward me, I lost it. I ran back home, too terrified to even and looked back. I burst to the front door and stood in the foyer, out of breath. Mommy saw me and hurried to my side. I think what happened, I must have looked terrible because she sounded quite worried. Ran to my room, shut the door, and hid behind the covers of my bed, shivering. What had I just seen? Was it just a nightmare? It must have been. Last night, Daddy came to my room while everyone was asleep. He woke me up and told me that he found my cat that had gone missing earlier in the day. I think cookies went through the broken wall, he said. Can you help me? Can you help him out of the shaft? I was by myself, but you know, Daddy's a big guy and can't fit in well. Dad put him in there. I was in the basement examining the oil barrels when I discovered something strange. There was some black, sticky, goo-like substance found in the barrels. It wasn't oil. It smelled terrible. It wouldn't come off with water, but then finally I managed to clean it with some paint thinner. 
kept in the storage room. I forgot about the strange happenings. So However, a week later I went down to get some more oil to refill the generator when I saw that some black deposit had grown and much more than last time. I also started noticing it around different places in the house, where I couldn't foresee the possible correlation between the growths. Before I could alert the, sm the Smith's Miss, Mr. Smith fell ill. His illness, I suspect, is due to the peculiar infestation. I didn't wish to disturb Mrs. Smith as she cared of Mr. Smith every day. When she wasn't by his side, she would be either painting in the art room or watering the plants in the greenhouse. However, I felt this was important. Finally, found a moment to inform her of the situation and my suspicions regarding its connection to Mr. Smith's ailment. I also warned the kids to stay away from such growth. I kept on removing the growth however I could, but they would always grow back more than before. It felt as if I was trying to take over the. It was trying to take over the whole house. It's a loop. What's it? Ancient symbol. I didn't see it when I was first here. Stop licking your ass, please. Who built this? I didn't. It's locked. Stay up this late. Mom, go to bed, Mom. You <laughs> I haven't worked in a few days, babe. Yeah, I know. Is this scarf from the woman I saw? Or is it Yeah, probably. It's brutally ripped open. 